Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program, and today we're going to be doing a meta-analysis about the World Cup Open, the Victory Road VGC World Cup Open. A uh, pretty big online tournament that just took place over the weekend that was yesterday, um, the day before. So, pretty big uh, event, very relevant, is happening right now. Uh, Series 10, 400 players, 405 players to be exact. Uh, pretty big deal, pretty big tournament, a lot of really well-known players, a lot of really interesting teams, a lot of stuff went down, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. Let's get right into it, why not? So in Series 10, of course, no Dynamax and one restricted format, so, you know, all of these teams will have one box legendary, one restricted Pokemon, and will also feature, um, you know, a lot of fake out, wide guard, um, you know, stuff like that in, that are good in Dynamax format, so... Um, let's talk about it. So first team actually won with Palkia, which is really cool. Uh, Palkia is pretty solid, has a good Trick Room uh, mix-up, and can also work pretty well under Trick Room. You also do have things like Amoongus and Stack Attack on the team that further, you know, enhance that Trick Room uh, scenario. Stack Attack is a really, really strong Pokemon in this format. Trick Room, it's incredibly strong under Trick Room because it is the slowest Pokemon. Wide Guard as well, just doing so much work, and Gyro Ball Rock Slide doing so much work with it being one of the heaviest Pokemon as well. Draw Ball just does a lot of work. Amoongus Spore under Trick Room can be a win con of its own. So, you know, nothing too crazy there. Uh, bottom is just Incineroar. It is Assault Vest, which is kind of cool. So no uh, Parting Shot. But we do see, you know, Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, U-Turn, Fake Out. No Snarl, which is interesting. So pretty cool stuff there. You do need the U-Turn there on it, though, because of, like, Gothitelle and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you don't have Parting Shot. Makes a lot of sense. We do see Zapdos as well, which is a really interesting pick here because it has Rocky Helmet Roost, so it's like a defensive, uh, a rather defensive um, Zapdos, which we typically, you know, moving from the Dynamax format, we saw almost exclusively like offensive Zapdos with like Life Orb and Dynamax, but now losing Dynamax, Zapdos, um, you know, taking more of like an offensive while still being pretty bulky role makes a lot more sense. Rocky Helmet works pretty well you know we would see a lot of like berries and stuff in the past and uh you know without having tailwind its support isn't really there so it's really just like a roost like live and do good tick damage with rocky helmet uh surprised to see no uh, heat wave but i mean it makes sense if if you can only have two, two attacks dual stab makes a lot of sense so that just makes sense choice scarf lando t is pretty cool um you know it's uh also features some special attacking like earth power um, which is really good, but instead of uh, Earthquake, which is a good um, option right now, especially with, uh, you know, all the Rillabooms going around, just making that Earthquake damage, well, P damage, which kind of sucks. Uh, in second place, we have Yuki. Did I say the Emmanuel? Uh, congrats to first place. In second place, we have Yuki as well with the uh, Nihiligo team, the uh, Shadow Calyrex um, team. <laughs> Nihiligo team. Nihiligo is a piece of the team. Um, but yeah, it's uh, really interesting actually going to show off the power herb uh, instead of, you know, going in um, with like Focus Ash and Trick Room as an option. So we're going for a ma uh, power herb, Meteor Beam, Nihiligo instead. So that's really interesting with Beast Boost doing a lot of damage and uh, also just like, yeah, power herb. It's, it just gets so powerful after Meteor Beam. And Nihiligo is incredibly fast. It, honestly, Nihiligo is a really, really good option for this format. And also, like, being able to deal with, like, Xerneas and stuff with uh, the really strong Sludge Bomb, that's pretty good. Uh, Incineroar, Rillaboom, nothing too crazy there. Um, you know, Assault Vest, Citrus Berry. Actually, Citrus Berry on Incineroar is kind of weird, but it makes sense. It's not very weird, actually, like, at all. You just typically see Pinch Berry. Um, Mystic Water, Urshifu, which is kind of interesting. You know, not going for the Focus Sash there. Um, one would think, oh, maybe it's just on the Whimsicott. No, Whimsicott actually has Mental Herb as well. So, uh, actually seeing the Urshifu... Rapid Strike at Mystic Water is really interesting. Just going for those really strong Aqua Jets. And, uh, our Surging Strikes and Aqua Jets, of course. So that's pretty cool. We do see, you know, Close Combat Detect. Pretty basic stuff other than that. Um, probably Max Speed. But, yeah, pretty pretty weird to see Mystic Water. Calyrex Shadow at Life Orb. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, it does have Substitute, which is really cool. You know, Substitute um, and actually no Expanding Force. So even without having the... the um, Misty Sur or the uh, Psychic Surge on his team, opting to go without Expanding Force. So just going for Astral Barrage and Shadow Ball makes sense. You you want to have an out for Wide Guard, so Shadow Ball makes a lot of sense. But you also have um, opting to go for the Substitute makes pretty good sense. It's pretty strong. 
Uh, Tailwind, Taunt, Cotton Spore. You don't want to get taunted, so Mental Herb. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, congrats to Yuki for getting the second place. In third place, we have Inash with a uh, another Shadow uh, Calyrex team. But we do, of course, this time feature the Tapu Lele. Actually, it's Psychic Seed. So interesting. Not going for a Focus Sash build, um, which Tapu Lele typically goes for. Tapu Lele being a squishy, squishy mess is interesting seeing, um, you know, going for Psychic Seed. How prevalent is that, actually? So we see Choice Scarf. Choice Specs, Life Orb, Focus Sash, typically. Um, seeing something like Psyche seed, Psychic Seed is uh, very um, unexpected, but uh, probably worked out pretty well. Psy Shock, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Protect, makes a lot of sense. Uh, very solid. You know, going for those choice items do uh, kind of keep it away from Protect. So going for a Protect with, uh, you know, Seed is pretty good. You still usually see it as Focus Sash, but yeah, makes sense. Um, seeing the Substitute and Astral Bore... Uh, uh, Astral Barrage and Expanding Force here on this Calyrex, not going for the Shadow Ball, so no fear of Wide Guard, so that makes sense, but you do, of course, have, uh, you know, Tapu Lele um, hitting you with, you know, like Moonblast and stuff, you get a repossession turn. You don't really want to take early repositioning with uh, a team like this Aggro, though. Uh, I mean, you don't really have any anything to back up one. I guess you have Ditto at Citrus Berry and Entei at Assault Vest, but the rest of the team is super squishy and definitely wants to go Hyper Aggro, so... Seeing no Shadow Ball on here is kind of interesting, but yeah, props to you. It worked out. Uh, if you can catch somebody off guard with that substitute turn one, it's it's pretty much over. But like, uh, yeah, Wide Guard would, would just wall this thing out, and that would kind of suck. Uh, Entei at Assault Vest seems to be the standard, and it's very solid. Inner Focus, this gen is really, really strong. Not getting Intimidated is very, very good, but also not being able to get flinched is very good. So, uh... Yeah, but they they buffed Inner Focus, man. Inner Focus is like a real ability now, which is just crazy. Uh, all right, um, props to Nash. Rounding off our top four, we have Mateo with a Zashian team, the first Zashian team getting uh, fourth place. Interesting, but uh, yeah, we have uh, Zashian crowned. Nothing too crazy here. Close combat, but Humith played close combat instead of the uh, Sacred Sword, which is cool. Substitute protect. Nothing too crazy. No Swords Dance. We've really seen Swords Dance not really show off that much this format. Really, Substitute's been uh, this standard. Speaking of uh, surprising standards, Mystic Water Urshifu. There must be a damage calc that I, I'm not aware of because Mystic Water is on all of these Urshifus, which has actually been three out of four of top four. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Incineroar Rillaboom, nothing too crazy, but it is. Safety Goggles on the Incineroar, which is cool. We also see uh, Regilucky and Lando. Uh, pretty, you know staple pokemon for uh this part of the format we do see stone edge on this landorus which is interesting um you know earth power and, and sludge bomb really taking advantage of that um being a good special attacker but you also have stone edge just to mix it up a little bit which is really interesting so uh cool stuff uh congrats to all the people in top four let's uh finish off top eight and then uh you know we'll talk about the rest of the placements but a little bit speedier um, in fifth place, we have a Kyogre team, which is actually the first Kyogre team, which is interesting. Uh, it's not really crazy seeing Two Shadow, Calyrex, and Zacian, but seeing Bal Palkia take first place, um, great. That's really, really cool. First Tornogre team, uh, this is something we were definitely expecting to see a lot more. So Tornadus and Kyogre, of course, you have the Fast Tailwind user, and then also the Mystic Water Kyogre, or the Choice Scarf, but really Mystic Water taking precedence a little bit more in this format, just due to having that Protect is really, really useful. So you don't just get fake outed immediately, and then just don't really run from anywhere. But also Tornadus, of course, you know, being a prime fake out target as well, but it does typically carry Protect. Actually, interestingly enough, Tornadus doesn't have Protect here. It is um, aiming for that Focus Sash, though. Hurricane doing a good bit of damage and having really good accuracy under the Drizzle that Kyogre sets is obviously very, very strong. And then also having Taunt and Icy Wind. Icy Wind is an interesting pick because you do have Tailwind, but against other Tailwind teams, having that Icy Wind option is very, very strong. So uh, definitely makes a lot of sense. So Tornadus, Kyogre, taking top 8 at a tournament. Wow. Unprecedented. Uh, anyway, Serena on the team as well is very, very standard as to the, you know, core, uh, Tornogre uh, core. 
being able to get rid of that priority for fake out, which is very, very good, but also more importantly, taking away, uh, taking away that priority that grassy that grassy glide gives. So just getting rid of the Rillaboom threat to the Kyogre is really, really big deal. Serena, you can obviously like take advantage of that a little bit with uh, you know preparing for Serena, but it does also have um, Triple Axel, which is a huge, huge, huge against the uh, you know these uh, flying type Pokemon that can kind of just break through Serena. So uh, that's pretty good. U-turn is also very useful. Assault Vest is definitely the standard for Serena. Makes sense. It's pretty good. Uh, Naganadel here being a probably an out to like Xerneas, also doing a lot of doing a good number against a lot of. I don't know. <laughs> Flamethrower kind of kills that uh, Rillaboom and stuff matchup. You also have Triple Axel on the uh, Serena, you know, kind of eliminating that threat of Rillaboom that is over overly used in this meta. We are Safety Goggles Naganadel is really an interesting pick, but something I like to see because Naganadel is really cool, right? We got to give the love, uh, share the love with everything, not just the same guys. Incineroar, Citrus Berry, nothing too crazy. Regilecki, Life Orb, nothing too crazy. No eerie impulse, just going all all into attacks. Thunder, Volt Switch, Electro. I mean the best ones. So uh, yeah, really cool team there. Uh, Torn Ogre. Next we have Xerneas, the first Xerneas team. Power Herb, Geomancy, nothing crazy at all. You know that's very standard Xerneas stuff. I'm sure the you know I'm sure the spread is really good. Um, next we have Focus Sash, Regilecki, nothing too crazy there. Once again, just that Electro Web, that fast Electro Web on Regilecki is an incredibly incredibly strong. Uh, tool this format so it definitely makes sense and Tay choice scarf is a little interesting we typically just see av honestly almost exclusively uh seeing av on Entei. i'm curious what the what about the percentage uses is, is 41 av 17 safety goggles 8 9 uh life orb citrus berry so seeing the choice scarf is really interesting but um yeah choice scarf sacred fire is incredibly scary and same with snarl and having pretty good options, pretty good coverage options like Stone Edge and Crunch, just very good. So definitely makes sense. You know, Choice Scarf. Uh, the only bad thing is, uh, you know, this was an open team sheet uh, event, I believe. I believe it was open team sheet. So just knowing the Choice Scarf is a huge, huge deal. And not being able to, like, hold that as knowledge for, you know, game one or game two is a little unfortunate. But that's just open team sheet shenanigans. If this wasn't open team sheet, then, you know, that's cool. Urshifu, Urshifu at Life Orb, no Saint, uh, no Sash. We're not giving Sash to Urshifu anymore. Is, did I miss the memo? Why, why is that always the case? I'm sure you know doing more damage with with the Urshifus is good. Um, Mystic Water on the on the water and Life Orb, or you know something of the sort on Urshifu. We've seen Choice Band in the in the past, so it definitely makes sense. You know, there's probably some pretty specific damage calcs that just really gets there. Maybe this needs that Sucker Punch or the Life Orb to be able to Oko the uh shadow rider maybe i'm not sure uh, but yeah it's good stuff shuka berry and Sinroar is pretty cool and citrus berry amoongus nothing too crazy clear smog on the amoongus is good uh nothing too crazy other than that and in seventh place we have the second palkia team actually which is going lustrous orb the same kind of scenario i think trick room mix up hydro pump special rend uh spatial rend very good stuff for the Palkia. Entei Life Orb makes sense as well. You know, getting uh, that Protect is pretty good over, you know, choice items or AV. But you also do still, of course, have all of these really, really strong options. Bulldoze is really cool. Extreme Speed is amazing. And Secret Fire, of course, is what Entei is all about. Rillaboom, nothing too crazy. Assault Vest, Wood Hammer. So you can take specific calcs. I'm sure there's some really specific calcs. Lando T at Choice Band. Which is something we don't see very frequently, but that rock slide's got to be scary, and that brutal swing's doing actual work, like actual work, I'm sure. And DDF and Stack Attacka, Stack Attacka, White Herb does not want to be uh, was intimidated. All right, <laughs> fair enough. Go inside that trick room to go off and just start doing the work. Makes sense. Uh, Focus Sash on NDD female makes sense there as well. So uh, really cool team. In eighth place, rounding off top eight, we have Roberto. Uh, I didn't give props to Benji Wang. Didn't say the name. Uh, or Co, I think. Or Marcus? Am I, I suck at names. Uh, anyway, rounding off top eight, we do have a Zacian team. Um, nothing too crazy here. Mystic Water on the Urshifu once again. I definitely missed the memo then. That's definitely, you know, it seems like the standard. That's like, what, like five, of, five out of five Water Urshifus on this list? All right, fair enough. 
Mystic Water is the standard. Uh, Zashian Crowned, Substitute, no Sword Stance. Close Combat, no uh, Sacred Sword. Excuse me. Incineroar, Safety Goggles, Rillaboom, Throat Chop on the Incineroar. That's cool. Uh, Focus Sash, Regilecki, and Life Orb, Lando. Pretty basic stuff for a Zashian team. But basic's good. It got you a top 8 finish on a 400-player online tournament. Can't can't go wrong. Anyway, that is it for top 8. Let's go ahead and talk about the rest of top here. We're already 15 minutes in, so um, we're going to go a little bit faster. I'm not going to be clicking on the pace and stuff like that. We're just going to go... Uh, so yeah, in ninth place we have a me and Xiao. Uh, Shadow Rider team is definitely an incredibly good strong core. Another ditto, which is interesting, and other than that, just pretty basic glue stuff for the team. Uh, the Reggie Lucky is a really, really invaluable asset on Shadow Rider teams. Getting the Zashian into range to outspeed it is very, very strong. And obviously the mirror match, a lot of other stuff. These ones up here went with the Tailwind on the uh, Whimsicott. Makes a lot of sense as well. So just having some form of speed control on the Shadow uh, Calyrex team is definitely a must. Seeing Eternatus here is pretty cool. Is that Meteor Beam? It is Power Meteor Beam. So that's pretty cool. We also see the Suicune for some more t uh, Tailwind stuff in Volcarona as well. Being an incredibly powerful Pokemon. Doubling up on types. But Volcarona is probably like a Focus Sash Pokemon here. No, it's actually Citrus Berry. Um, Quiver Dance setup uh, kind of help with uh, the Eternatus, but actually not at all. It doesn't actually have Rage Powder, so it's just Quiver Dance. We're going with the Citrus Berry kind of bulky build, it seems like, so that's pretty interesting. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, next, we have another Zashian team, very basic team here as well. Shadow uh, Shadow Rider with the Mi and Xiao, Nihiligo, and Didi. Pretty basic overall team, but very, very solid. Um, you know, you have your good stuff. You have your Tailwind as well as the Mian Chao. You have a Trick Room mix-up potential on the uh, Nihiligo, which it doesn't actually feature, which is interesting. Um, but it's the Power Herb, so it has to have that Meteor Beam slot. So it makes sense. Uh, the Moltres Galar here with the Stack Attacka. It's recently come to uh, to my attention that Moltres Galar is actually very, very strong without Dynamax. Um, shout out Sebastian uh, or Embracing VGC for that one. Xerneas team with the Volcarona, the Gastrodon, the Mal Maltrace Galar, and Stack Attack. It makes a lot of sense. Very, very well-rounded team. Very cool. Um, in 14th place, we've got another Zashian team. Pretty basic stuff here. Is that the Prankster guy, though? Yeah, it is. It's Prankster with the Eerie Impulse, the Thunder Wave, the Taunt. Very solid. Oh, another Xerneas team. Very basic stuff. Um, Kyogre with the Shedinja. This, we actually have been seeing a lot of Shedinja in this format, which is very interesting, but makes some sense, you know, to some degree. It's very strong uh, with the Kyogre, the Torn, and the Serena Core. We see the Zacian team, another Zacian team, a Reshiram team with the Aegislash, which is cool. Eternatus um, with the Volcarona, the Suicune again. Suicune is very solid this format, I think. It's, uh, you know, really good on a team that makes it good. But without, you know, having good Pokemon that make it good, it's it's not that good. So um, you definitely want to be careful using Suicune in this format. Because it'll just, you know, your opponent will just kill everything else and be like, wow, well, your Suicune sucks. Your Suicune has to actually do stuff. Um, Zacian team with the Mian Shao, the Gothitelle, the Volcarona, pretty cool stuff. A Reggie Drago here, which is really interesting, and the Milotic, which is cool. Um, you know, keeping down those Intimidates, keeping them away. It's very, very good against like Incineroar and stuff, of course, but uh, yes, it's, it's cool, this format. And the Lando Eye, of course, is very good. Another Mian Shao, Calyrex, some more Eternatus, Tapu Koko, uh, Volcarona, Suicune, Torkoal on this team, which is cool. Uh, Zacian is cool. Xerneas teams, a lot of Volcarona. Regidrago again. With a pretty similar Kyogre core, you know, Torn, Torn Ogre, Serena is definitely the standard there. Scizor on this team without rain is interesting. On the Eternatus team, I'm curious as to why, I guess. Yeah, I'm curious as to why. <laughs> um, no Sucker Punch on the Grimmsnarl, which is interesting. Choice Band, uh, Technician, U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Super Power, Dual Wing Beat. I mean, I'm sure it does a lot of damage, just... Um, you know, Incineroar, have, make sure your Incineroar calc's good. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm sure this Scizor was awesome. T get 28th out of top 400, you know, 400 out of 400 players. Uh, Calyrex Ice, the first Calyrex Ice that we've seen. Yeah, Calyrex Ice, not too popular this format. It's semi-popular, though. 
Uh, another Shedinja, annoying boy, but really cool. And uh, another Shadow Rider. And a Kyogre, a Tornogre team with the Stack Attack on the core uh, Tornogre team. Very cool. No usage stats, but that's okay. Um, I guess that's about it for the video. Uh, Shoutouts, Victory Road VGC, of course, will be linked in the description down below, of course, as always, so you can check out this page yourself. If you want to look at some teams a little bit more, study them a little bit more, uh, link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. Have a good week, and goodbye.